Hi and welcome to Talks Friend Night Studio. It's me again, Kosi, and we have a very special guest in the house. You know, today we'll be interviewing a special person, a citizen of this country, who was brutally uh, manhandled by some people who are citizens of this country also. Well, things happen in this society every day and we get to know some of them, we get to miss out on some of them. But today we are lucky enough to get hold of this wonderful lady so that we can know what really happened to her. This is really bad and we really feel sorry. Um, hi, miss. Hi. Miss, um, what's your name? Okay. My name is Comrade Choma Ifemelodike. Comrade, so what do you do? Okay, I'm a student of Chukwu Emeka Odumegu Ojuku University, formerly Anambra State University, and I'm um, a political science student, 300 level. I'm also a Nollywood actress. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know you didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, I didn't see that coming. So, um, been, even before I went to school, I've been for more than five years now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of talents out there and we don't even know. Man. Anyways, um, you said comrade earlier on. How come? Okay, I'm a NANS comrade, National Association of Nigerian Students. Um, the female president, I'm the female leader of NANS. We have an association called the National Association of Nigerian Female Students. Well, yeah, some of you don't know about it, but yeah, it exists. We we'll see about the affairs of students. We we'll, we'll see about rape cases, sexual harassment. We've, we've been there, but very soon we're going to be spreading our tentacles. I promise you that. They see about sexual harassment, rape cases, and now we are seeing them about those particular things <laughs> so um a young lady what's really happened to you we are seeing the whole bandages and everything your neck is attached to your hand so what happened yeah you're seeing this this is the physical one this is the one we're seeing carnally as humans and the pain well yeah it's there but for me as a spiritual woman and as a christian i see there's an avenue by god to remind me of my duty to remind me that i am in this position because i need to fight for people because i feel this pain right now and then i say to myself what if it happened to someone else would i take it this serious what would be the outcome with all this um, nans comrades would they be out there in the streets protesting so i think this is a wake-up call you know but the pain i feel the pain but it's good i see it in a positive way so how, how did this come about well it came about it, though i didn't see it coming you know we don't wake up in the morning and prepare ourselves we're going to have trouble but i'm someone who don't run away from confrontations and i know my fundamental human rights and you should know your fundamental human rights and i don't let anyone intimidate me that is one thing that was you know i got it from my mom maybe because of the fact that i was born in just in plateau because i don't see why you should allow yourself to be subdued you know by people who are citizens just like you said earlier who share same right same rights with you so what actually happened was to cut the whole story short um i was going to fix my cable my dstv cable to be specific and the barrister in charge of the building of my hostel is is, is not actually a student hostel because it's quite not too expensive but for the for a one room self-contained apartment i paid a hundred and seventy thousand i want to be specific so that you the viewer can assess the story i paid a hundred and seventy thousand for a one room self-contained apartment and then the barrister comes he was the caretaker before then who said i had to write an application to install my cable when he said it i felt i i told him i said what's what kind of english are you speaking come on right now where in the world do people have to write an application wait for you to confirm and possibly i start from them i said to him i'm not gonna do it so i think after then he saw that i really was not gonna do it he called the barrister the barrister got to the scene and i wo i walked up to him politely because i already knew something was going to cook up and the next thing he's going to say is she was rude to me so i knew the importance of being polite and respectful so i walked up to him politely greeted him i said sir i'm sorry but the work i have paid for has been stopped which is the installation of my dstv 
he told me that hey, well you have to write an application and wait for us sir, hello sir it's not right and he went about how it's written in the agreement i said if it's written in the agreement i'm sure it also states that in that same agreement that i'm supposed to pack into that apartment the day i pay but it's almost three weeks now you people are fixing your the, your, the same room because of your incompetence i've not been able to settle down i've been displaced but i've been patient with you i've never called you the barrister in quotes the so-called god barrister to report or nag i've been patient i've been seeing it as this is for me so i need to wait so why would you come and want me to write an application to put my i said come on the place i'm fixing this dstv already has two cables there and there's still enough space to contain three four more so why would you make me you know when we had that he kept saying well if you want i'm going to refund you i mean comrade i told you you can't refund me at this point and this at this juncture now you you won't refund me because i've spent so much money already i've spent so much time and i don't i'm not going to take your refund i'm going to live in this house so when he came out thinking probably he's going to now start thinking from a matured angle or from you know a, a, someone who is meant to be learned and the next thing he told the security man who is an illiterate to go up there and throw everything down and while he went up probably he thought i was not going to go up there i went up there with him the height i had to go the same height the security man went and when he got there he started tossing he tossed the the, the cable the the, the the dish and he was going to go for a very a, a table set tv that i had i borrowed from a neighbor so the installer would be able to fix properly to check his um uh, his um installation you know to monitor his installation so when he was going going for the tv i held onto the tv and that was it the guy pushed me from that height and wow. if not for a cable that was just there hanging i don't know where it would be i don't i don't think i'll be here right now in this studio as you can see so like how high was this um, height it's up to a height of a story building yeah This is really <clears throat> heartbreaking. My fellow human being pushed down from that high for DSTV installation, right? Yes. Wow. When did this happen, please? It happened on Monday at around um, 5.30 p.m. And it lasted till 6.37 because when I fell, I became, I just, I was on, I blacked out really. I didn't know what happened. I just know people were you know all around i just couldn't make out anybody i just so um when this happened okay when you woke up like how many hours later and oh i think i was down there for an hour because i was there then my brother i think somehow they got to call my brother then you know i don't i can't really know how you just black out and the things i'm just making out now are just sketches and they're not details so i for me, that is where the, my own part of the story, you know, ends. So, so have you informed the um, authorities about this? Yes, I'm a law-abiding citizen as much as I am a, a nun's comrade, an activist, a student activist. I'm also a law-abiding citizen and I also believe in, I understand rule of law and why I should abide to them. The first thing I did, I went to the authorities, which is the Nigerian police, and I made an official statement. And up till now, the case is still with them. Even though the NANS Association has taken it up as their own case, the the, the national president of Nigerian students, um, in person of Comrade Tijani Usman, um, has taken this matter up. He sent his delegates to Oka from Abuja yesterday, and they've not even allowed me to, you know, you know, I'm a woman. So when the barrister came yesterday with his peace and please. I started feeling, you know, like sober. I just started feeling for him. But then they told me, sorry, madam, you at this point, you don't have a say. It has gone beyond you, you know. So as a woman, I kept saying, please, no violence, no this, no that. We're going to do this. We're going to get results. So that's been my stand. Wow, well, that's good. Um, the bystander in question, where is he right now? Like, do you have any idea? Um, the last time... I saw him was yesterday when he was trying to make peace that's today he's supposed to be there and he's supposed to call me back and go you know I've been back and forth and I really can't see where he is right now <laughs> human brutality for things that are not worth it 
I feel really, really bad that things like this can happen in this country. You know, we have our rights as human beings, and then <clears throat> people step on it. It's appalling. Okay, it's appalling. God knows what would have happened if you that cable wasn't there to help you break your fall. It's, it's really God knows what would have happened. But we are glad that you are alive, and we are glad that you're okay. We hope that justice will be served. Okay, you know, this country has seen more than this and little things like uh, fights, normal fights or rape and there are no, there are no, there's nobody out there that is helping the people who suffer from this part, part, part of violence or half, I'm just saying, uh, happenings in the society. But we hope that the Nance president, like you said, would do his best to make sure that justice is served in this case. Now, what about um, other students who face these same challenges? How do they get to reach people so that you can help them fight their causes? Well, okay, the, the National Association of Nigerian Students is structured in a way that every zone has a coordinator, every state has a J what we call JCC chairman, which is the Joint Campus Commission. Now, this, uh, this, um, uh, these are sub associations in, inside NANS. These are like the way we, we group ourselves so that we'll, you know the country is a large one, so that we'll be able to reach out. So, JCC is state, it is, state, it is a state executive um, that takes care of state matters. If you have a problem, the problem is that some of the students are not even, they are subdued, they just feel everybody can walk over us. Because while this was happening, some people came and said, ah, no, we have already done. I said, you did it, just let me get right. Learn that you have rights. If you don't know it, go to the constitution, Google it. You have rights. You have a right to your life. You have a right to your dignity. You have a right. There are so many of those rights. It is stated in the constitution. When you know it, stand by it. Even if you're dying, stand by it. Because that's the only thing that's going to vindicate you. That's my notion, and I've been like that. You don't trample on my rights because people say, ah, they will do this, they will do this. Yes, they will even do it eventually, even if you don't fight for it. So you need to start from wherever you are, knowing that these are my rights and I need to be protected wherever you are. I'm not saying go about insulting them because, of course, where your rights end, the other one starts. So, but there's some things that obviously shows that you have to, you are just being intimidated. And for female students, which is my core area, I want to say to you that if you're harassed in any way, come, even if you don't reach, you don't see an avenue to reach Nigerian female students, reach to NANS, report your case, we're going to take it up. I, for one, have taken so many cases of. Um, uh, female harassment, female intimidation, rape cases, and all that. The only thing we need is we don't have enough capacity. That is the only problem. And some of these guys, they always see us like they are, they are, they are second class, you know. But we need, if the society, if women, I know that we have influential women in this country. If influential women can reach out to us and say this association needs to grow, this association needs to stand, people, female students, because it's so much. Okay, look at the Chibo girls. See how far it has taken the federal government to bring these girls back. And you have just a group of women who have been fighting. What happened to young girls like me? What happened to young girls out there who can actually fight for ourselves? But we don't have the capacity, we don't have what it takes to, to measure up with the, uh, with, the, with, the, with the men. So I'm, I'm pleading them with this um, um, platform. Women. Influential women, we have them. I can't if I start mentioning where will I stop. We have people like OBS and Fessy. We have activists, activists who have sold their lives just to help. So all we need is give us the necessary support and we'll make sure that we we'll match to every campus. Every female student must be emancipated. Every female student must be empowered physically or even if it's just by having just been orientated it's something we need to do a big program that will make nigerian men even nigeria as a whole know that female young students we are out here and we're going to have our backs we're going to fight for ourselves no <clears throat> that's passionate the female activists have spoken <laughs> yeah um i'm really happy that you could pour out your heart like this uh, and in as much as you became an example for this great cause. We thank God that, like I said before, that you are alive. 
we just need the viewers out there to please bear in mind that you have your rights as a citizen of this country and you don't let anybody no matter who he is or who she is no matter the power person holds to step on those rights hold on to what you believe in hold on to your rights and try to stand up for yourself you are not ants you're human beings you are citizens of nigeria this great country so we thank you very much comrade for coming to our studio today and we hope that we can join you in this your fight against the uh, manhandling of human beings like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. And I need to give a vote of thanks. I need to thank the um, the NADS president, the person of community, Johnny Bushman. He has been like a, a father. He has been everything. He's joined me from the beginning of the study of the I'm going to support this. I'm going to support the National Association of the Journalists. Every time you have an event, and he's been great. He's been like a father to us, and to turn the zonal coordinators of B, which comprises of um, South East and South South. I want to say a big thank you to him and all other senior comrades and leaders who have called me, reached out to me, and all those people who stood out there protesting for me. I am grateful. It shows that NAS is not the way people see it. NAS is out there, and 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 we are going to return to old glory. We're going to be seen as what we were. So I'm very grateful. To Nigerian students, to Nigerian female students, all I'm saying is be good wherever you are. Be a, a law abiding citizen. Don't look for trouble. You know, don't look for trouble. But if you look, if they look for you, find me anywhere I am. Just find me. You know, and I will take, I will put everything it takes to fight for you. Very grateful. My birthday is in two weeks' time. Mm -hmm. I, what a wonderful way to celebrate my birthday. Yeah. I'm going to go to church dancing gloriously because the devil has been defeated. Yes. I think I'm, I'm God win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. God win. God so, win. So, um, happy birthday in advance. Thank you. Yeah. So, you heard it from the comrades' mouth. Stand up for yourself. Don't look for trouble. But that's in mind. But when you, your trouble is being, they're not going to look for yours. Come and look for her. Look for or me. look for any non executive yes. around. And look at yes. Victoria You can also come up to Friend Dad Global Limited. You know, we are here for you to help you whenever you need your help. Anyways, thank you very much. Thank Once you, again. friend. I'm right. so grateful for this opportunity. Okay.